What's going on everyone? Ains here, Season Gaming, and today we are doing a review of the Odyssey Maxwell headset. Now I've been talking about this headset for a little while now on BitCast, been using it for going on two months or so maybe now, and I'm not traditionally a headset person. Uh, I typically game on my Series X or PS5, I use a home theater for that, and so as I've been gaming more on PC, I began looking into headsets and talking to friends and peers, of course, around what's the, the best headset at a reasonable price range, of course. And I kept hearing about Odyssey. Now, Odyssey, if you're not familiar with them, they are more of an audiophile brand who a few years ago began making gaming headsets. You may have seen them before with the, um, the Penrose and the Mobius um, headsets but the Maxwell is their newest one, and it's the one that a lot of gamers that buy, you know, the $300 range of headset, the higher end headset, have been waiting on because they've kind of hit their final form, if you will. Um, with this, it is compatible with either Xbox or PC, or PS5 and PC. I went with the PS5 and PC one, this exact same headset, the only difference is, uh, the Xbox One comes with a Dolby Atmos license that you can uh, activate, obviously. Whereas on the PS5 One, of course, it supports the Tempest 3D audio that is proprietary to PlayStation. Because I use a home theater on Xbox, I went with PS5 and PC. And as I said, been using these for a while now and I am extremely impressed. So I'm gonna talk you through all the details, uh, the build quality, the sound quality, the software that you use with it, along with uh, actually also the removable ear cuffs. Uh, you'll notice I have these funky looking 90s themed ones on. I just put those on the other day, which is why I was waiting to do, to do the video until today. So let's start at the top. The Maxwell is about $300 MSRP. If you can find them, they've been sold out a lot. Uh, some stores, you know, were selling them for like 320 because they were hard to find. But um, <clears throat> that puts them in the kind of upper echelon range of normal gaming headsets, right? If you're looking at Steel Series or Razer or Astro, what have you, that's really their kind of top end model. However, when you start to look at the feature set and the build quality, um, Odyssey is really onto something here. So let me walk you through the details that they quote around this headset and I'll tell you my personal experience. First things first, they claim an 80 hour battery life for this, which sounds nuts. Um, I don't know if I really believed it or not. I had a good friend, Mo, saying that yes, they last forever, and he was not wrong. I actually charged these up fully. I took them to LA in June for the Xbox event. I didn't charge them again until July. Um, and I used them multiple days per week, including my flights both ways, in the hotel, etc. They last forever. Um, and they will charge, even if they're dead, they say that you can charge it for 20 minutes and you'll still be able to play a full day's worth. So the battery in these is absolutely tremendous if you're someone who games a lot uh, and is often worried about battery life or dying while you're playing multiplayer with friends. Uh, the headset dying, I mean, <laughs> not you. Um, you're going to like these a lot. They use an ultra low latency wireless with three times the range of normal Bluetooth headsets and it comes with a U little USB dongle. I have it in my PC right behind me here, but it's just a normal USB thing and you switch between PS5 or PC on that directly. You turn it on via the power button, it connects seamlessly. I have never once had a connectivity issue. It connects, stays connected, it's not a problem. So that's fantastic as well. It also does support Bluetooth. So if you wanna use that, it supports Bluetooth 5.3 with LE Audio, LC3 Plus, and LDAC as well. So it's got all the compatibility you would want out of a higher end headset. It has high resolution audio, so 24 bit, 96 kilohertz audio. Um, and it, like I said, it supports all the 3D audio too, Dolby Atmos, Tempest, etc. <clears throat> the build quality is really interesting. So the one, if I have one negative about this headset, it's because of the build quality. And that is that as, a he as headsets go, it's heavy. It, it's got a lot of weight to it. It feels really well made. It's an all aluminum chassis. It's got this flexible steel headband here with this leather adjustment inside. Um, the ear cups are really solid. And it just it feels like a really high-end uh, headset, but that does make it heavier. So I found that when I was traveling, for instance, like on the plane or somewhere else, I was still using my um, Sennheiser, you know, Bluetooth headset because they're really light. Um, but in terms of gaming, I've never really found over an extended period of time, and I've gamed for several hours at a time, 
where uh, they get uncomfortable. It's a very comfortable fit. The headband, as I said, adjusts with these screws right here, you can see, you know, you put it on, gives you these nice ear cups over the ear. They're very comfortable, very padded, uh, blocks out some noise as well, and um, never had a problem. So it's the one trade-off you get, you know, for, for solid build quality. <clears throat> it has a detachable Shure microphone that uses AI software for noise reduction. So you can be talking to your friends, but then if you're also eating, as some of you love to do, or if you know things are going on around you in the room, what, what have you, uh, it'll block all that out. It does a really good job of that as well. They have demonstrations of this on their channel on YouTube. So if you wanna see how well the microphone performs in terms of noise reduction, you can check that out. Um, it is fully detachable. It just plugs in like any other um, you know, uh, headset would. So you can do that. It actually will still work this way too. It has an internal microphone as well. It just doesn't have the same sound quality. So if you're just messing around and you don't want this plugged in, you can use it like this, but plugging this back in, you know, takes but a second. And um, again, I've never had a problem with it. In fact, I've never had a problem with anything with this headset, to be honest with you. So then lastly, the main attraction for this headset is that it uses planar magnetic uh, drivers and that separates itself between what would normally be considered like a gaming headset right even the high-end three hundred dollar gaming headset versus an audiophile headset and if you're not familiar with planar magnetic drivers I am NOT the expert that's going to give you the full detailed breakdown but essentially they just provide greater clarity across the audio range and finer detail so just the sound quality is just overall better I have been using this headset to play a huge range of games from uh, Diablo 3 to Battlefield to Halo to Rocket League to Elden Ring, you know, everything in between. Stuff with very uh, detailed sound effects, big orchestral music, um, all types of things, and they are phenomenal. Like I've said before, or I said at the start of this, I'm not really a big fan of gaming headsets. I'm kind of spoiled with my home theater. I like the big impact sound when I'm gaming, but sitting here at my desk playing on my PC more, these have been utterly fantastic. And there's no doubt at all that they pick up on all the fine details of games. So when you compare this, and there's a comparison on the website that you can see on, on Odyssey's uh, website, excuse me, where they compare kind of the feature set, especially the drivers, to companies like SteelSeries, Asus, Razer, Astro, and it's night and day, right? Most of those use like a 40 millimeter dynamic cone driver far more on the cheaper side in terms of construction. Um, these using a 90 millimeter uh, planar magnetic driver makes a big, big difference in sound quality. So if you're someone who really appreciates sound quality and wants to hear the best out of your games and you're gonna spend $300 on a headset, these are the ones you wanna look at, bar none. All right, so that's the feature set of the headset. Uh, let me walk you through kind of the details of the headset and it's really straightforward. There's not a whole lot to really show here. So. Um, you know, they flex in and out, so they give you kind of flexibility. They really move well on your ear, like I said, fully flexible microphone, back, forward, have you. Um, adjustable leather band through these screws on the top here, like I said. You've got your mute button here, so you know, right at the top, you just slide it down, you're muted. That's no problem at all. Power button. <clears throat> and then here, I will show you. So on the fly, you can, uh, here's your USB-C charging. Um, but you can also adjust the game versus chat dynamic. So if you want your game to be louder or lower, et cetera, and your party or whoever you're speaking with, Discord, et cetera, to be louder. And then obviously your overall volumes right here as well. They're both just dials, they're right next to each other. Sometimes you'll mix them up, but once you get used to it, it's, it's uh, super easy. And then of course, right on the front here, you've got this little button um, for a Bluetooth pairing. And that's it. I mean, it's as straightforward as it comes, honestly, in terms of a headset. Um, it's not gonna give you all kinds of fancy lighting or connections or anything else. They're, they're really focused Odyssey on just quality. And so if you want a quality gaming headset that gives you the best sound without all the flashy add-ons, uh, this is your guy. So the only other thing I wanna talk about is these ear cups. So you can see I have these funny, funky 90s themed ear cups on here right now, and these are detachable. So they come with standard kind of leather ear cups like you would expect on a headset like this, but they, uh, here you go. 
but they work with uh, this Wicked Cushions company that you can order to have these replacements that have different styles on them. And they're also gel cooling uh, cups. So it's, uh, you just twist and pop off. It's really that simple. So <clears throat> it, um, you can replace these as you see fit. If you want cooling ones, if you like the leather ones, if you want some kind of different style, they have different colors. They have black and red and other ones. So you can just swap them off. So these are pretty neat. I've kind of liked these. These feel a little softer than the leather. They have that little cooling function. And of course they look ridiculous, which I thought was funny. Who cares, right? So the, that's really the Odyssey Maxwell you know, every aspect of it. The only other thing I want to show you is that it does come with software that you can download and install. So I will show you that on the screen right now and walk you through this again. It's very straightforward. So this is your kind of um, starter screen when you turn it on and you connect basically allows you to mix between your side tone level. And if you want side tone at all, uh, tells you, you know, uh, your battery level, etc it has your game and chat mix right there and now you can leave this up and dial it in real time so if you don't want to mess with the knobs on your headset and you're in game you can use this to do it and then it has these kind of pre settings down here that you can use just to play around with different sound qualities i've talked to several people about this that use this headset and kind of have really a really solid understanding of audio dynamics and most of us agree that immersive is the best setting so I honestly just leave it on immersive. Um, it's been fantastic for me. Sound quality is amazing. You can, of course, play with it more uh, if you really want to dive in. The second screen is just your device info. So if you're just sitting there and you're forgetting what any of the buttons do or you know need to figure something out, uh, it's got this right here that you can just check out. And it'll tell you how to pair Bluetooth, the you know what the power button does, what the LED indicators mean, um, anything like that. So uh, you can turn the uh, noise reduction on and off, etc. Pretty straightforward. And then on the last page, it's uh, pretty straightforward again. Just your settings for shutdown, voice prompts, and uh, your letting you know what your headset and dongle firmware. That is one thing to be aware of with this is that the headset and the dongle have separate firmware updates. So you update them individually. Um, but make sure they're both matching and up to date. Again, that's relatively easy. It downloads instantly. And uh, it's as simple as that, honestly. That's all there is to it. So like I said, um, highly, highly recommended. Um, sometimes they're hard to find, but um, if you are looking to spend a, a decent chunk, right, $300 on a gaming headset, but you want one, as I've said many times now for sound quality, um, just build quality and one that's gonna last you a long time, look no further because this is easily the best headset I've used, even though I haven't used all the high-end ones. But uh, I have played around with them, listened to them on occasion, and uh, there's there's not really too much of a comparison. It's amazing. So it's that simple. I'll leave it there. If there are any questions I can answer, leave me a comment, of course. Let me know what you think. Um, if anything changes over the course of me using this in the in the future, of course, I'll, I'll pin a comment to the top of the video saying, you know, some sort of update. But otherwise, um, for myself and the several other people I know using these headsets, there's no complaints. So um, that's about it. As always, I appreciate you tuning into our reviews here um, at Season Gaming and uh, just appreciate all of the feedback and positivity. And stay tuned, of course, we'll have more reviews uh, coming up. I've actually got another statue review coming um, a few days after this goes live. And then uh, of course you can join us every Sunday morning, 11 a.m. Eastern on the Big Cast, where we talk about all the biggest gaming news of every week with technical industry and legal insight. I'm Ains. I will see you next time. Peace.